and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about calf strains, knots. That's pain in the calf, usually the mid-calf, right, Brad? Yep. And how to stop that pain in 90 seconds without painful rolling or deep massage. When we've done videos on both of those, they, they can be very effective, but why go through the pain of that if you don't need to? We're going to show you a different option. Right. I think this is going to be a, a different tool in your toolbox. There you go, Bob. So, by the way, if you're new to our channel, yeah. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, what are we giving away, Mike? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com. We're always do, giving something away. This week, we're giving away the Booyah stick. Brad's going to grab one. Uh, you can also go to Facebook. Uh, it'll be there. The contest will be pinned to the top of the page, Bob and Brad. Short version of us. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, and you will get 60 seconds of Bob and Brad today. Here's the Booyah stick. Great for shoulder, shoulder problems, balance. Uh, what else do we use it for, Brad? Posture. Posture, Bob. We use it for uh, strengthening next for weapon. Uh, yeah, be ca be careful with All it. All right, Bob. let's go to work, Brad. All right. So calf strain, uh, very common injury, particularly with people who walk a lot, run a lot, uh, up and down stairs, uh, those types of things, and uh, very painful. And they can drag on for a long time. Um, so how do we get rid of them? Traditionally, uh, before this episode, we've done a number of videos on effective ways to do it with a cross friction massage or the roller. Foam roller. Which yep. we still say these yep. are good options. They are good options. Um, this option is different and it it doesn't uh, require the pain that deep rolling does. Or it doesn't require the equipment. Or the, so. there you go, Bob. Even better so. point. Yeah. You can do this laying down in your bed, actually. And that's what we, I would recommend. But you don't have to. You can do it on the floor. Okay. So yeah. I'm just going to, for those people who aren't familiar with the rolling, just yeah, a very a quick. If, if you have a knot, I'm going to, right here in your, in your calf, usually if you have calf pain, if you palpate or feel in the muscle, you'll find a, 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 tender a ropey spot. tender spot where it's tight, it's tender, and that's what we have to roll out. We have to get in there and massage it with a deep massage, or you can use the roller like this, and you can work on it, go over that, and it's a little uncomfortable, but if you work with it, it can work out. It's Kind of one of those things that hurts, but it hurts so good because when you're done, it feels good. Now, the other option that we're going to talk about uh, feels good and there's no pain involved. As a matter sure. of fact, it feels good, good throughout the whole thing. I, I'm going to use a pillow. As a matter sure. of fact, I recommend getting a pillow so you can get more comfortable. So let's say, and what the technique is, we're not going to keep a secret here. This yeah. is uh, called the positional release, or uh, back in the day, this is. Technique. Strain, counter strain. Yeah, it's been around for many years. Yeah. Decades, actually. So let's say I have a calf strain right here. And what I'm going to do is lay like this, get comfortable. I'm going to put my foot here so I can relax. There you go. I'm going to show a little leg. Don't get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, it's not that funny. <sighs> so I'm going to go in here and pour, just palpate around. Now, the muscle fibers go this way. So I'm going to go right to left, and I work up and down. I'm gonna, usually, even if you don't have a, a, a strain, you can find a tender spot, right? So you're really not treating it right now. You're just looking for the, the painful spot. Right, trying to find the source of that and pain. And you already have it on slack a little bit. Right. Because uh, the knee's bent. Right. And a lot of people may not know that, but the calf muscle crosses over the knee. Too. Right. Part, so one of them. One of them one does, does, right. Plus, if you look at my ankle, yep. it's plantar flexed. Yep. So I have the, the muscle on slack, and I'm looking Maximal for that relaxing. tender spot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good point, Bob. And I can find one right there. It's kind of on the right-hand side a little bit. Okay. It may be in the center. It may be here. It may be down in the soleus muscle. But you need to find it, and you will. Um, let's say I'm going to go to this. I palpate it. Ooh, right there it is. I'd give that about a 3 or a 4 when I work okay, over. on a scale of 0 to 10. Right. 
Or one to ten. Yeah, so I'm going to note that. Now, if you've got a real strain, you're probably going to be up to around a seven or an eight when you hit that spot and push on it. So, again, that's the level of irritation or pain. There you go. Okay. And that's – so you, you don't do any more of that. That's all the pain you're going to really feel with this technique. Okay. Then you have to go to a position of maximal relaxation and uh, – minimal pain. So I'm going to flex the knee. Now this is a part that as a therapist, we know if we flex the knee and we plantar flex the foot maximally, that's going to shorten the calf muscles up maximally. And that's what we want. Now the other trick is you may have to take your foot. I'm going to lower the knee so you can see it and either evert it this way or invert it this way. And the way, the way you know, if you're in the right place, right position is it feels best. So in mine, because I don't have an injury, it's hard to say, but I, I think I can feel a little best. Now, if you have an injury, you're gonna, you'll probably notice it. Yeah, you'll probably be able to tell immediately. If, if it's on the outside, it's probably if you bring the foot towards that direction. But you, you know, experiment, see where it feels best. And once you find the spot, and then you're just going to hold and relax, then you have to time that for six, 90 seconds, pardon me, 90 seconds, and just relax, breathe comfortably, relax, make sure you, you clock it at 90 seconds. Don't go less than that. It was real critical uh, with the... Uh, the timing is really important. Right. If you're going to hold it for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, it's not long enough for the muscles to relax. This is a neurological, uh, this has been studied and... I'm not going to go through the science of the neurological uh, release, but it's all figured out. Sure. And after that 90 seconds, you can go longer than 90 seconds if you want. Then you're going to just relax. Slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Let it come down, and then you can wiggle your ankle up and down. Everything's gentle. Relax. You're not yeah. going to get into anything aggressive. You're not going to get the roller out. Um, although there was another study I, I did. They combined rolling Along with, with this. Yeah, and I don't know the protocol, but they said that was successful too, but again. You weren't sure if they did the rolling first? or the rolling, I, No, I didn't uh, read the article, sure. but they said there's a combination. Well, that'll come in, in time. And but. I would think that's what I would be doing with this, Brad. I would probably be doing a combination. Combination, yeah. sure. I mean, you could try this alone. Yeah. I mean, I have to be honest, Brad. I, I became a big, big believer of how this worked on my hip. Sure. And I could definitely tell with my hip flexors that they relaxed. And it's, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but I, I, I don't feel it with, I'm running now. There you so, go. So, I mean. Oh, I did. We forgot one little important piece of information. Yeah. <laughs> I got so excited about sure. being relaxed. Um, after the 90 seconds. Yeah. You should go back to that painful spot. Oh, and just to see how it's doing. Yep. See, and did, then did press it... on it again. Before I was at a three or four. Yeah. It's about a one right now. I can still feel it, but it's decreased. It wasn't bad to begin with, but definitely better now. And this is to show you that it's working. And, right. And, and to show you, it's amazing how just by putting that muscle in a maximal relaxed position, right. that it can actually calm it down. And that's so, how the name counter strain. You got the strain typically from a stretch or an activity like that. The counter strain is going the opposite. Sure. Um, so if it was a real injury and you're at a seven or eight, you could easily get down to a one or a two after the ninety seconds. Again, if you have the calf, if you have the calf issue, you're going to be able to tell right away. Right. That. I wonder if this does work with like neuropathy and stuff. Just because you know there's secondary pain from neuropathy that the muscles oh, start to react. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, that's a good point. I mean, it'd be calf pain. A lot of times, yeah. calf or the pains in the the feet and stuff. But I'm just cogitating. Right. Well, you know, we'll, when we got our spare time, we'll look into the literature and. It will inform you as we find out. And we'll get out. back to you. So remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for? A broken heart. But we're working on it. Oh, Bob. Why, Bob? Why, <laughs> the, why the violence with me?